Good morning, Gatsby. Woke up bright and early because today is Corgi Con Day. Are you ready to meet up with a thousand corgis? We're ready to go to Corgi Con. Yeah! See you guys there. Are you ready to meet all your fans? Gonna keep all the corgis on fleek? Hey yo, Robin, I get more head than when I nod in. Corgi on fleek, it's popping up Mary Poppins. Used to call me Hillary, cause I ride up. Well, stop. Gatsby on fleek. Corgi on fleek. Gatsby dog always keeps them corgis on fleek. San Francisco. It's kind of gloomy though. Not bad. Look, it's all sunny here. And then <laughs> now we just have to find parking. Oh. <laughs> Me and Gatsby at Corgi Con. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
These are Swedish Valheims. They're the ancestors to the corgis. They're super rare. There's like 90 in America. Hi! Like, I want attention. Everyone say hi to Gatsby. <laughs> So Gatsby is really, really, really famous here. <laughs> and the sun came back out. Hot dog corgi. <laughs> Lobster corgi. Digging. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're just gonna sit in it. <laughs> <laughs> Headed back home. Gatsby had a really, really good time. Gatsby is <laughs> so tired. I had such a great time at CorgiCon as usual. It's so awesome meeting everyone. You kept all them corgis on fleek, and look at this. I forgot Gatsby's doggles right over here. There, Gatsby and his doggles. Now you can relax on your way home. Mm. Yeah. Good dog. Cats be so tired. Okay, so when I'm in the hills, I hang with Corgi Cavalieri. And when I'm in Miami, I'm with Corgi Kim and Chloe. And when I'm in the AM with Sierra, or it's Corgi, I'm feeling like a diva, then I hit Mariah Corgi. I'm in the UK, I'm a CMIA. Superhero by night, Corgi by day. And if I just want to talk, I'ma hit up Monique. If I need a bad, Angelina Corgi. Material girls like Madonna, models for Dogatella. Ain't nothing you could tell her, cause she get that mozzarella. She look just like Rihanna. She work with Wilhelmina, only rocking Corgiana. She might be Filipino, be sipping Pellegrino. Be watching Al Pacino, she could probably sniff a kilo. Anyway, yo, hit up Grace Jones and tell her I said Straw and Jay. I'm out in Paris, Corgi dog with guest Beyonce. Corgis, Corgis, every day. From London, Canada, and the USA. Where my Corgi dogs at? Gatsby, you woke up! Yay, we made it back home! Woo! Did you have a good corgi con? Yeah? We gotta go and take a bath now. <laughs> Clean. Let's get on with the rest of the day. A present for Gatsby, number two. It is the Tether Tug indoor one. Here it is. Okay, so it comes with this, the stand. You're supposed to stick this underneath a really heavy furniture. Good dog. Oh! Let's set this up. Come on, Yasby. Yeah! He's getting a little bit afraid of when you let go and this thing ricochets a little bit like that. Pull, pull. Good dog. Good dog. Oh! Good dog. Yeah! Oh, go get it. Yeah! Good job. Oh, you got it. Good dog! Woo! Good dog, Gatsby! You got it! You got it! Yeah! Good job! Good job! Can you get it? Woo! 
Good job, Gatsby. These come with like those little climbing hooks so you can just hook anything onto it. Good job, Gatsby. Good job. I tied lots of thread to it. He likes it more now. <laughs> but yeah. Good job, Gatsby. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Save him, Gatsby. Dinner time, so I'm just gonna make some broccoli over here. I'm gonna steam that, and I have rice made already, and I already have my barbecued chicken and steak here. Chicken, tons of broccoli and rice here. Awesome. I'm exhausted. I didn't really film too much today because we did the Corgi Con thing. So I thought that instead I would play some deleted footage that I had deleted off of two vlogs ago. So. Check that out, I'll see you guys back here. Gatsby's favorite place, in front of the fan. You enjoy your fans? I thought that I would make the almond roca dessert one more time, because it's so easy to make and I have all the ingredients. One more set of graham crackers my parents sent me. Right over here. Two sticks of butter, the rest of the almonds here, and sugar. And that's it. But it tastes super good. Everyone is always like, oh my gosh, this is so good. Melt the butter, let's start with lining the cookie sheet with aluminum foil. Now. Fill this with crackers. These are cinnamon graham crackers. I am excited. Ta-da, like so. Now let us set this to 325 degrees. The butter's almost all melted. Okay, we're gonna just add half a cup of sugar here to the butter mixture. Okay. Make sure it's incorporated really well. And you want it to be a little bit bubbly. And we're gonna just saturate the crackers. Next, we add the almonds. We stick it in the preheated oven for one and a half minutes. There it goes, one and a half minutes. It's been one and a half minutes, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna spin it around to the other side. So there we go. Now we set a timer for seven and a half minutes. There we go. Okay, there's been seven and a half minutes. Ah, oh, look at that. Ooh. Now we just let it cool. Okay, it's been a while. I'm kind of excited because I don't know how this would turn out with cinnamon. I'm sure it's pretty good. Okay, let's try it. Mmm. Oh my god. Cinnamon sugar. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mm -hmm. So good. Welcome back. I'm like about to pass out. I am so exhausted. I thought that um, just because the vlog is a little bit short, I would do a quick movie review since I've been done one in a while and I did see a recent movie which is The Martian starring Matt Damon. Matt Damon is left on Mars because he's thought to be dead and he has to figure out a way to survive on Mars with very limited supplies. And my favorite thing about the movie was actually the screenplay, which I thought um, was incredible. I think it should definitely be nominated for Best Adapted Screenplay at the Academy Awards for next year. And I really loved all the supporting characters. I thought it was really funny how Jessica Chastain is also in the movie, just like in Interstellar. One of my favorite living actors is in this movie, which is Michael Pena. He provides a lot of comedic relief. Other than that, the movie was a visual Visually stunning. Ridley Scott does 3D very well. I did have a few problems with the fact that they focused on a lot of characters. There are a lot of characters, including like Kristen Wiig, the guy Childish Gambino's in the movie. I was kind of like, there's so many characters. And I did feel the end was a little bit eh. But other than that, I really liked it. I would highly suggest it. I do think it's one of the better movies of this year. So my final review out of four stars for The Martian would be three and a half. It was very good. What did you guys think? Did you guys see the movie? Put in the comments below if you saw it and what you thought. And with that, I am actually gonna head to bed because I am so tired. He is just like passed out there. See you guys in the next vlog. Good night. Are you vlogging today? 